What's up, everybody? Good morning, and welcome back to Homestead Living. My name is Cobra Joe. We're back here at Pleasant Valley Barn, our place of residence, our home at home. Um, this is actually two days later, two in-game days later. Um, I guess it's not the next day, but it's the day after. We spent some time just organizing inside the house a little bit. I have an arrow shaft. I didn't mean to craft an extra arrow shaft there. Um, we were able to make the survival bow. I spent like a whole day just making the survival bow and making a bunch of arrows. Are you coming at me? Oh, you are coming at me. Um, and uh, so I don't... I don't want to test this out right now. <laughs> I don't want to test this out right now. This is not how this intro is supposed to go. I had a better idea. Uh, Wolf we'll just messed it all up. Um, anyway, so we spent a whole day just making uh, the survival bow. And then I took a look at some of our clothes and some of our stuff. Um, we organized some stuff over here. Um, checked out our guts. This stuff has been curing. This stuff's already almost done. Uh, I wanted to make more arrows. And the problem I came to was that I don't have enough arrowheads. I actually had a couple other arrows um, in our inventory. However, um, they were really low percent. And what I realized is that you can break down arrows for an arrow. Like any good arrow, you can break down for an arrow shaft, an arrowhead, and three crow feathers, which is exactly the same number of resources it takes to make a brand new one. So that's exactly what we did. We broke those down, and then we um, made a bunch of... We had two cured birch saplings, so which gives us six arrow shafts, and then we were able to craft about six arrows. So that was awesome. Um, so we have six arrows, we have our survival bow, which is all we're going to be carrying from now on as far as weapons go. Um, we might grab the distress pistol later. I want you guys to take a close look at the encumbrance level. Look at how unencumbered we are now. That's from dropping the ballistic vest and the rifle and the revolver. I mean, this right here is like 20 pounds. I mean, what is this? This is four, right? This is eight, eight pounds. This is 13 pounds. And this is what, three? So right there, eight plus three is 11 plus 13 is 24. Right there, we just lost 24 pounds. I also spent some time um, going through and looking at our meds. So this is all I want to carry for is meds. This is my thought, at least. This might change. Um, we have a wound dressing. Uh, I'm not carrying the reishi tea because we have, we're going to just carry the reishi mushrooms. We can make the tea. Uh, the rose hips. And then just two rosehip teas, and that's just going to be for warmth. I don't plan on using any of these. This is just for... Pain is not an issue, right? Pain is a non-issue. And I don't know of anything else that needs rosehips besides pain. Um, so pain, this is really just for warmth. We're going to carry two teas and two rosehips um, on us. So that means we have two teas on backup and two um, repl replacements. A stim, just in case we get into those oh crap moments. We have a bandage for bleeding out. Um, I don't, I thought this was supposed to help with um, bleeding out as well, but I'm not sure. We do still need to repair some clothes. Um, our clothes are not great. Uh, I am going to grab a little bit more water. You see our tools are pretty good. I might drop these rocks. Our knife needs to be sharpened and I'm not going to be carrying much of this and I kind of want to break down some of this stuff I did look at some of our clothes that we had we had better trail boots so I grabbed those but this is what we're rocking now I do need better gloves for sure this is all I've got for gloves um I could wear the driving gloves but those aren't good I'd rather wear the cloth gloves so that's what we've got um we still have all this stuff over here that we can break down I thought about wearing the ski boots but they're just so dang heavy um, and with the expedition parkas, I just I just don't want to put them on. Um, now I do want to craft some rabbit stuff. Um, I have the hides. I'm thinking about crafting because we need new gloves, the rabbit skin mitts. So we might break into that and just plow through that today. 
Um, we have plenty of food and water to last us. It's warm. Um, so we might plow through that right now. And one thing I forgot to do yesterday... Rabbit skin mitts. We need... Oh, I need four and two guts. Four and two guts. Let's go get those. I need one more of these. And then I need two guts. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go craft these up. One thing I forgot to do or didn't realize I could do when... Um, when I was crafting the arrows... Is we're gonna craft the mitts. We're not gonna craft the hat. I would have. I think I would have preferred the hat, but we because it's it's less weight. Um, it's more wind protection. It is just. I think just a little bit better. It's not any drain on our sp on our sprint. I think I would have preferred the hat, but we're gonna make the mittens. Um, plus we get to see them. Um, one yeah, but one thing I forgot that we could do is use the quality tools and the simple tools to make stuff and so they just kind of sat here um and i thought i might be able to make them with the rabbit skin where did those quality tools go mittens but it looks like i cannot oh they're all the way down there nice Grab those before we forget about them oh my god my hands just not want to work um, so yeah, so I think we're gonna make those mittens. Cause that's what we need right now. We need mittens. Let's drop these. Put these up here. And let's start working on these mittens. Uh, let's do two hours and see how our stats look after two. It's also late in the day and I kinda wanna wake up a little earlier. Uh, we can do another two hours. That wasn't bad at all. Um, when we got the light. And we need another hour to finish this off. Let's see if we can get it with the light. I don't know if we will. Beautiful, we did. We made it. Okay, cool. Rabbit skin mitts, and then we'll harvest these down for the cloth again. Um, we're gonna need to drink and eat, and then we're gonna take a small nap. We are very... Um, well rested, so we'll probably do some stuff around the base. Um, one thing to point out too is we have these two jerry cans. These things are like full. There's so much, uh, lantern fuel in here. So what I ended up doing is while it was nighttime, I actually took these lanterns, because these lanterns are worse condition than the lantern that I'm holding, and I would fill them up, or I used what was in them, and I'd, I'd put them down, and then I, and then I would work. Because I didn't want to keep that fire going. It was too much resources. We made plenty of water last night. We made plenty of water last night. Um, how much charcoal did we get? 26 pieces of charcoal from that. Jesus. I'm going to put that over here. Um, no reason to be carrying charcoal. Char 20, 26 pieces anyway. Um, I think what I am going to do though is carry a spray paint can on me. Where did that charcoal go? There it is. Uh, I kind of liked being able to scope out the area. And do that. Nothing over here. We put some antiseptic over here. It's just, it's so heavy. I mean, 0.13 gallons, 1.54 pounds. What I did end up doing, and I'll show you guys real quick why it's there. Oh, let's drink before we lose condition from being dehydrated. We have so much water, I don't care. Is I moved the first aid stuff up here, right? But look at this. We're at 12.25 out of 60 pounds. If I start throwing this in here, I guess it's fine. 18.11. But look how much weight that carries. I wanted to put it somewhere else. Look how much weight that is. Let's grab uh, two of these. That should be good. Yeah, 0.58 gallons. We'll probably drink again before we leave. We ate those two wolf meats the other day, um, which was fine. We had risk of intestinal parasites. But that cleared up really easy. Um, you know, really no big deal. We haven't had any issues um, while I was crafting. I just kept my stats up and, and, and crafted away. So I'm excited. We finally got... Um, 
We finally got the bow, and that's what we're going to be rocking for the rest of the... For the rest of the, uh, playthrough. I'm going to try... I'm going to try and not, uh, use the... The, um... Revolver or the rifle. Although, truth be told, if we really, really have to, we may. Um... But I'm not comfortable on six arrows. That's the point I was originally getting to before I digressed on everything else. I'm not comfortable on six arrows. So what I would really want to do is I really would like to head out to Desolation Point or Forlorn Muskeg. I haven't decided, but either one is traversable from Mystery Lake. So I really want to get to Mystery Lake. I want to... I want to get to Mystery Lake, hang out there for a little while, maybe loot that up, and then go from Mystery Lake to, I think, I, I don't know, I like Desolation Point. I know there's something to be said about Forlorn Muskeg, but I like Desolation Point. Oh, we got an Aurora. Nice. Look at that. Look at that Aurora going. How's that knife looking? 72%. We're going to keep on, we're going to keep on sharpening that up. Um, mm, let's go take a look. Uh, you know, we haven't looked at the Aurora in-game. Come on, drop. I know you can drop somewhere. That's fine. We haven't looked at an Aurora in-game. Come on, where's the door? I'm in a corner. Aha. Let's take a look at that outside. It's got to be so nice. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and Signal Hill off in the distance. Look at that. Look at Signal Hill right there. That's so neat. Oh, and even the tractor is on. That's so cool. I don't want to go too far because... Um, Aurora Wolves and Aurora Bear. Um, not looking to get into a tussle. But anyway, yeah, that's my plan. That's my plan, guys. My, my plan is to, to head to Mystery Lake and, um, let's get this. I want to go, you know what? I don't think I even need to. Uh, can I navigate this? I want to get to the, you know what? I don't even need to. Let's just keep sharpening this. We're just trying to kill some time, get us get our characters sleepy, and then uh, sleep through the rest of the night, which we, we could actually probably do right now. Um, but I want to get a little bit more tired. Oh, you know what we could do instead? Because we have the Aurora. Where is my... There we go. Wilderness Kitchen, field dressing your kill. Hopefully this Aurora lasts long enough to, to matter. Let's look at our skills real quick. Uh, that's not skills. Skills are here. We did get an extra... Um, archery level as well. Mending. Mending is almost another level. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Fire starting is already level 3. Cooking. Carcass harvesting. Let's do, um... Honestly, let's do a sewing primer. Let's try and get 2 hours in. With this Aurora going. Alright, let's do another 2 hours. I'm this thirsty. Alright, let's drink. As soon as this Aurora is over, we're getting in bed. We're gonna go, we're gonna go sleep. Because now I'm, like, where I want it to be. As far as sleep goes. Oh, it's already going to be morning. Oh, it's dark. Alright, let's go. Let's get in bed and sleep. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There's the car. Let's get in here and sleep. Now, we're probably going to be tired today. 
Uh, let's sleep for... Let's give us eight hours. We're probably gonna be tired today because, um, we spent all that time just awake just doing stuff while we were talking about what we're gonna be doing. But that's okay. I'm willing to... I'm willing to do that. Um, it's midday, which is probably my favorite time to be active. Uh, I don't know if it's the best time, but it's about when I like to be active. Um, we are gonna bring a sewing primer with us just so we have something to read. And we have the weight to spare now. So I actually have the weight to spare. I can actually, like, carry stuff without worrying too much about it. I still have some cattails, but I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab some extra food. Um, let's see, what do we want to eat? Uh, let's eat that and that and that. That should be plenty of food for us till we get to Mystery Lake. Especially with the cattails. We're gonna grab a little bit more water. And I think that's good. What's our weight looking like? 43. We got half a gallon of water on us. We've got the book. Um, we're gonna carry the torch. We're not gonna bring the whetstone though. The whetstone can come up here. We're gonna carry the sewing kit. I'm carrying- I did decide we're gonna carry the hacksaw over the hatchet. And there's two reasons for that. One, since we found out in the last episode that um, the hacksaw can cut down limbs. I don't, or like the saplings. I don't know what I would ever need. I mean, I guess for a struggle, maybe the hatchet would be better. But I don't, I don't, I use the knife. I use the knife in struggles and I like the knife in struggles. Let's see what the weather's like. Hopefully the weather's permitting us to go out today. Oh, that it's not. Dang. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, let's read that book again. And mending went up. And that's cool because there's a lot of stuff I do want to repair. I think a lot of people think mending is useless, and that's that's fine. Um, I don't think mending is the greatest skill to have. However, just uh, with all the clothes stuff that I want to do, 65% chance of successful repair, repair time decreased by 10%. With all the stuff that I want to repair already, like, it's just, it's nice to have. Um, we're going to put that up here because I don't want to carry that weight on me um, as just for fuel. Um, we will grab... Uh, We're gonna bring Fields Dressing Your Kill with us because we're closer to leveling up than with Wilderness Kitchen. Um, and because, uh... Because it's still stormy out, let's go back in and get some sleep. We might... Let's do two hours. We might have to travel at night a little bit. Um, but I think I know where I'm going for the Mystery Lake transition now, and I'm okay with that. Uh, it sounds like it's still howling outside. It sounds like it's still blizzarding. But this game likes to fool us. So let's go outside and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, no way. No way. No way. I'm not playing in that. Sorry, game. Back to sleep. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I know where I'm going for the Mystery Lake transition now this time. So... Okay, it sounds like it calmed down. It is dark. I don't like to travel in the dark like this. I don't. Um... Let's light this torch up. Here's what we're gonna do. Before we go, we're gonna light this torch up. We're gonna come over here. We're going to start a fire, because only because I need more torches. If we're going to travel at night, which I'm not opposed to doing, we need more torches. Oh, I guess we'll just throw the cedar on there. That's fine. Um, we're going to take up these ruined torches. These are torches I used uh, while we were going, just messing around the, the base. And we'll harvest these down real quick, just to have a couple of sticks on us in case we need... 
to start a fire. All right, and we're going to, um, let's add a couple of sticks in here. We got an hour, let's take some torches. All right, that one's good enough. I'm not gonna take bad torches, this is good. I'm only going to take torches that are, like, actually good. Like, if I get one that's, like, 10%, I'm not taking that with me. Uh, that one's good enough, I think. Take that. And our last torch. I'll take that. Alright, so all good torches. Um, I grabbed a cooking pot to carry with me. Uh, I'm not going to carry a can. How's the weather looking out? Oh, wow, look at how pretty this is. This is, what a nice day. Yeah, so I'm not gonna carry a can. Uh, just carrying the cooking pot this time. And the cooking pot can do water. I'm, again, trying to save that weight, right? We're gonna try and save that weight as much as we can. So we've got the torch, we've got the cooking pot, we've got plenty of torches. We're carrying a sewing pit kit, so we can mend anything. Cloth, in case we need to make more bandages. A couple of sticks. Um, I do have some things I want to repair. And this is it, this is what we're going out with. So, I want to start using the mag lens more, especially because I'm going to start limiting how many matches I'm carrying with me at any given time. So, I've only got 23, so I want to start carrying the mag lens and start making mag lens fires on days that we can. We might just start a fire with the mag lens just preemptively if we need to do that. So, I'm going to start traveling towards Signal Hill, and then I'm going to start heading up that way, and I believe the Mystery Lake transition is up there. So that's where we're heading. Now I've only got cattails for food. I might snag some rabbits. Uh, since we're out of rabbit pelts. Just to make the rabbit skin hat. With the toque being gone. I think the toque would still be better than the fleece cowl. But I think worse than the... Or the same as the baklava. Balaclava. And so... Um... Yeah, I think that's kind of the plan, is we're gonna grab some rabbits on the way. Uh, I think I have some stones. We do. We only have three. I'd like to get a couple more. Maybe have, like, five stones on me at any time. Um, but yeah, Mystery Lake is where we're headed. That's where we're gonna be going. And then from Mystery Lake, we're gonna head to either Forlorn Muskeg or Desolation Point. I wanna do some forging. I wanna get some more arrowheads. Um, see what else we can maybe craft. And then we wanna make more, um... Arrows. That's kind of the whole plan, right? That's that's kind of my goal right now, is I want more arrows. I don't feel comfortable on six because I don't know how good I am. I will... I'm not going to actively try avoiding using the bow, but I might start with hunting rabbits. Get my archery skill up. We did get archery skill up in um, the idea of crafting, or from crafting arrows. And that was really cool, but because I don't plan on just crafting it to get to level 5, I want to do some hunting, and I just want to get used to using the bow, you know? I'm going to try and take down some deer in, in, in uh, Mystery Lake, uh, maybe even a moose for the moose hide satchel. I would love to leave Mystery Lake and head out from Mystery Lake with a moose hide satchel. That would be absolutely fantastic. If we could head from Mystery Lake... From Pleasant Valley to Mystery Lake, and then leave Mystery Lake with more arrows and a moose hide satchel. That would be the ideal scenario. So we'd have the well-fed and the moose hide satchel. I know there's a technical backpack. I believe there's a technical backpack in base game. I'm not sure in Ash Canyon. Um, but I don't, I don't really know Ash Canyon. So that'll be an adventure of its own, and I'd rather do that after we go to Timberwolf Mountain. We will eventually go to Timberwolf Mountain. Or at least my plan is to go to Timberwolf Mountain and summit. Um, so that is the plan. I I've summited by about day 100 before, just because I used to not play. I don't know this game very well. I know a lot of people early game summit, and that's great. Um, and I know I could probably summit right now, but we're gonna probably wait on summoning for a little bit but then yeah we'll go from timberwolf mountain maybe to ash canyon or maybe we'll go to ash canyon and then timberwolf mountain with the technical backpack so we can carry more loot and bring it back home one of those two is gonna happen not sure which that's further out we still have all of mystery lake plus the transitions to get through before we get to 
either of those locales. So that's kind of my plan right now. And Desolation Point or Musket. Either one to forge at. So that's kind of the plan right now. Forge more arrowheads and then I think this is... Is this the path to um, Signal Hill? I forget. Is Signal. I feel like Signal Hill's right up there. Um, maybe it's a little further down. Can I see it from here? I forget. I know it's by the barn. I think it's this way. I think I'm right in this way. There's a nice little cave in here. That's cool. Uh, nothing in here I want. One thing we're gonna have to collect in Desolation Point a lot of is that coal. So that we can... Um... How do I say? So we can start that forge. We can get that forge going. I think it's like 212 degrees Fahrenheit to get that forge up and running. Um, where are we going? Is this is this the right way? Now I feel like I'm lost. There's a bunny over there. Do we get him? There's a couple of bunnies over there. Do we try and get him with the bow? Maybe if one comes close to us. Oh, you know, there's one right there. Maybe we just give it a shot real quick. We got the bow. Let's, let's try it out. Sneak up on you real good. and close, or well, less chance for me to miss. Can you stop moving? Please stop moving. Come on, please stop moving. I don't even need the rabbit, but... Ah, dang. Alright, that's it. 3% for missing. That's not bad. And we got our arrow back. I'm not too upset about it. Um, but I want to give it a shot. I think it was... It's worth experimenting. We're going to have to spend some time with the bow to actually get good at it. So here is... What is this called? Lower Falls. I think we're going to try and go up, just, I was going to try and avoid going to, Sig like, actually going to Signal Hill, but I think we might have to just go to Signal Hill and go from there. I know it's somewhere around, a little bit past Signal Hill, and I know that's kind of the plan, is to get a little bit past Signal Hill and get to Mystery Lake. Or the, well, I guess that'll lead us to the Hydro Carter Dam. Aw, oh, man, sprained wrist. Of course not. Of course, of course we'd have a sprain wrist. We can still use rocks with a sprain wrist. That's fine. Um, so, we'll have to do that. We'll have to just keep, um... Experimenting. Trying to find this. I have a general idea of where it is. Um, and where I messed up from last time. Because obviously I was curious. I'm like, I, I, you know... And I didn't... I knew that, that transition to Blackrock wasn't to Mystery Lake, to, at least to some degree. Like, this doesn't seem right, but you know, it's been so long since I've played that I was like, you know, maybe they changed it, I don't know. Um, oh, maybe, oh, I can't, not because I can't use it. I'm not, I'm not wasting a bandage. I'm not wasting a bandage. Here's our fishing hut. This is our fishing hut that uh, saved us. We spent a whole day in that one time. Okay, so I have some... I think this is Pensieve Pond or something. So I have some idea of where we're at. We really don't need more crow's feathers either. We really just need... Um, the arrowheads. Like, if we just get, like... 
10, 20 arrowheads, something like that, I think that'd be enough. I think that's what I'm looking for. Like, ten, somewhere between 10 and 20 arrowheads, I think, is what I'm looking for. We also, and I forgot about this till just about now, need the heavy hammer. So we gotta hope that there's a heavy hammer in Desolation Point. And if there's, I guess, I guess that's gonna dictate where we forge at, right? If we go to Desolation Point and we walk away without a heavy hammer, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to go... To Coastal Highway. Er, not Coastal Highway, sorry. To, um... That's the word I'm looking for. Forlorn Muskeg. Oh, it's another Aurora Knight. Now, this actually makes me nervous because we're out and about on an Aurora Knight. So the wolves are going to be brutal. Not only that, but they... I was following the sound of those crows. Because I know the transition has that dead body in front of it. Is this Signal Hill? There is Signal Hill, right over there. So we, we passed Signal Hill. We might camp out in Signal Hill for a little bit. Just to, um... Live out this Aurora. Just because I... These Aurora Wolves are no joke, man. Um, you know what I might actually do? Is I might, uh... Do this. Use this on our sprain. There we go. And now we can use our bow again. And then, I mean, if an Aurora Wolf attacks us, I'm not going down without a... We're going to try and avoid the Aurora Wolf, but if it attacks us, we're not going down without some sort of fight. You know, at least I'll, like, I might miss, but I'm going to, I'm trying. I'm going to try. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not... Oh, there's another sprained wrist. Perfect. I'm not going to not shoot him, you know? Or at least try to shoot him. Is this that cave that was up here? Alright, so maybe what we'll do is we'll go into that cave again. We'll go into that cave. Start up a fire. The bed roll down. This fire's gonna go for an hour. Let's do an hour and a half-ish. Water. That should be enough. Sleep for two hours. That water should be done. The Aurora is still going. We'll pick that up. We'll pick that up. We'll grab a torch. And let's sleep for another five hours. Man, that was like an all-night Aurora. Alright. Sprained ankle, pain's healed, sprained wrist should be healed. Should be good to go. Uh, let's drink. That'll also help us lose a little bit of weight. Alright, it's cold, but that's okay. We should, now with the daylight... We should be good. So Signal Hill's right over there. We got the sun out. It's early morning. We got all day. Did we leave anything in the fishing hut when we were here last? Or did we miss any cattails or anything? I don't think we did. Yeah, we're not gonna, um... Oh, there's another maple sapling over there. We're not gonna, um, do that again. That was, uh... Oh, we did. <gasps> oh, no, we've never been here. But look at this, guys. Insulated flask? I wasn't sure if that was going to be in this in this game. So we have not been here. Or it respawned. Because I would have taken... I mean, obviously that wasn't here before. That's so nuts. That's so crazy. Insulated flask.
Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, I'm about to make all the warm beverages. You have no idea. Anything cool in here? No. I know sometimes the boats in, like, Desolation Point have, um... Fish in them. So, just wanted to check. I don't know if those are the same. Yeah, so no more hunting rabbits with, um... No more hunting rabbits with arrows. It's it's not worth the durability. I mean, that took so much durability. Oh, here comes a wolf. Um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna light this. And then we're gonna grab this. And then we're gonna... Two reasons. One, I don't want him to get us. And two, I don't want to lose an arrow. So if we can divert them and not, uh, not have them attack, that's the ideal. We're going to drop this decoy if he gets close enough. Like, we'll just drop that right there. Oh, did he, uh... He could have this rabbit, I don't care. Just looking to see if I can find that transition anywhere around here. Did he lose us? No, he didn't lose us. Here, I'm gonna put this right here. You're gonna have that, buddy. Is this it? Is this it, guys? Where's the body? Oh, right here. Why don't I hear the crows? Usually I hear crows. This is it right here. This is what I was looking for. Pleasant Valley, let's go. And now we don't even need to, um... Now we should be warming up. We don't even need to start a fire. Carter Hydro Dam and Environs. Let's go. Ah, oh, this feels so good. This feels so good. Kaplan's Cairn. Um, alright. We'll go down this way. I'm gonna burn these torches. We'll probably make a fire sometime soon. We'll grab a coal. We'll grab a couple coal. We have the weight now. So, like, now I feel like I can actually grab things that I want. Grief points, Cairn. So good. Yeah, we'll grab uh, we'll grab some fire. We're probably gonna make a a fire soon. Probably before we leave here, we'll make a fire. Oh look at that. Food. Nice. Hi guy. Hey. Go this way. Stick. I'm not really too interested in looting this area to its complete completeness. So I just kind of want to get through to the Hydro Carter Dam. Kilroy was here. Nice. Hi, Kilroy. I was here too. EP494 for his contribution. Is this just straight out? Winding River. Carter Hydro Dam. That's basically, I just want to get to the dam. If we can get to the dam, I'm happy. I don't care to loot that area that much. We'll grab these cattails. I don't know how many cattails um, are going to be on Winding River, but... I don't know this transition zone very well either, but I'm not worried about it. Uh, I think there's a couple of wolves that spawn here, but that's okay. Is this dead end? 
This looks like it might be dead end, so I'm gonna have to go the other way. Oh no, maybe I go up this way. Okay. Grab some sticks. We will start a fire at some point. I don't need to keep grabbing those cairns. I'm just grabbing them because I want them. I don't know. Nothing special. Um, probably when our torches burn out. We'll start a fire. I want to get to the Carter Hydra Dam. Mystery Lake is a map I know very well. So, if we get to Mystery Lake, to the back end of the dam, back side of the dam, and then are able to get to, you know, explore Mystery Lake, I'll be completely happy. We're gonna grab, see, now that we have the insulated flask, we're gonna grab all these rose hips that we found. We're gonna try and just fill, ooh, we're gonna try and fill that insulated flask with rose hip tea. And that's just gonna help keep us warm for like ever. You know what I mean? That's a really nice find. That insulated flask is a really nice find. Is there a cave up this way? It looks like there might be a cave up this way. There is, and there's also this lichen that we're gonna grab. Because again, trying to live off more of the land here. At least as far as meds go, right? Oh, that's a ruined peaches. Decent fleece mittens. We don't actually need those. That was a ruined peaches. Look at that. We're not going to carry that with us. Let's harvest that torch real quick. Those mittens we don't need. We'll just harvest those for, um... Cloth real quick. Oh, wait. Don't do that. I almost... Almost messed up. Eat. Eat. Actually, let's eat this uh, tomato soup as well. Let's just eat this tomato soup. Get it. Get it done with. Let's top up our water. We will drop that can. I'm assuming... Well, I want to see something. Weighs 0.44 pounds. Weighs 0.88 pounds. Okay. I'm assuming... That I can just drop the insulated flask. Next to a fire. And have it warm up all of my beverages at once. I don't know. I've never used it before. So I have no idea. Alright, so we gotta go this way now. We keep on going. We're really pushing ourselves today with this weather. And our tiredness is already going down a lot. We've been sprinting a lot. We've been burning a lot of calories. There's the dam right ahead of us, so it's almost break time. Here's a wolf. Um, we're gonna pull out this torch. So we can keep this wolf off of us. And we're going to make it to that dam. One way or the other, we're making it to the dam. Come on, guy. Perfect. Got off our tail. 
There's some cattails over there I'd like to get. But he's not letting up. Let's grab these. See if we can grab these cattails real quick before he comes back. Beautiful. We'll grab these rose hips too, since he seems to be buggered off. Uh, we'll grab a couple more sticks. Now, I know there's not a cooking spot in the dam, so we're gonna have to make a fire on the outside if we want to cook anything or do anything outside. We're gonna have to make a fire outside. And I'm okay with that. We're gonna make it in front of- we'll make it in front of the door. Leading towards the trailers. And then our first couple of days in Mystery Lake are just gonna be... Probably going to... Campers. Camp office. Probably going to Trappers. This looks interesting. Almost looks like a mineable material. You know? So go into the camp office, go into trappers, uh, heading up, hitting up the two rail cars there. The um, the uh, what's it called? There's something else over there too. I forget what it is. I'm just checking outside these uh. Inside these things. We've got this metal container. Nothing. There's so much wood here at the Hydro Carter Dam. Grape soda is good. We'll actually probably drink that right now. Another crow feather over there. I think there's supposed to be three surrounding every corpse, but, uh, I'm not spending too much time searching for them, you know? I'll grab the ones that I can see. We'll grab that, uh, container if we can. No? You won't let me? That's lame. I'm not breaking down all those pallets for that container. Come on. Give it to me. Whatever. Over it. Over it! I'm over it. I'm over it. Alright. Uh, there's the workbench back here, which we're not going to touch. That door doesn't open. Oh, no, it's a metal table. I thought it was a workbench. Scrap metal we'll grab, because we're going to need that anyway. We are hugging this wall here a little bit, just to make sure we don't fall down, because that probably will kill us. And that would be a very anticlimactic death. Um, the entrance- the entranceway is over there. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick loop around out here to make sure that we're not missing anything. Nothing out here like a backpack. Oh, look, a deer carcass. We might grab that, actually, before we head in. Oh, there's also the fire barrel. I lied. I forgot about the fire barrel. Hunting rifle here. We're not taking that. We're actually, you know what? We will take it with us. Uh, but we're just gonna drop it off inside the, um... Dam. Or maybe bring it to camp office. I don't know. We don't need it. Um... Let us... We are tired. We are warm, though. Two hours, 16 minutes. We'll, uh, we'll come back for- Ah! Uh, it's like I'm already here, you know? Nah, let's just- I'll just We'll do- we full send. Let's go. One hour and 23 minutes, 276 calories. Let's get it all. Because if we can make deerskin boots while we're here or something, I'm not opposed to having, like, deerskin boots. I'm not opposed to having deerskin pants. So I don't mind getting the gut and the hide to actually get any of that. 
I forgot about the, um, the fire barrel that's gonna be down here, too. So we'll absolutely have that to cook up that meat, and we'll probably eat that today. Uh, stay on target is good. We'll take some of this reclaimed wood. And, uh, just one check over here real quick. Make sure there's nothing over here that we want. Not that pallet. And we're gonna leave Winding River and enter the dam. Now, it's unfortunate that's a one-way, right? There's another cooking pot, which we will take. Now, I don't have the key for that memento, but that's all right. We'll deal with that later. Here's a flare. I'm just gonna- I'm just kind of looking around. We'll eat that real quick. Um... Metal table. Anything over here? No? Okay. I might decide to break down stuff for cloth, just to have some extra cloth on us, because I know we don't have really have any. Alright, let's search these drawers, now that we're here. I don't really need that new sprint. I don't need that either. I'll take a book. Oh, I didn't mean to leave that. No, give me that. Metal shelf. Uh, I'll, if I'm gonna break anything down for cloth, it's gonna be later. It's not gonna be right now. I thought that was another microwave. Orange soda's good. Anything in here? Nope. Scrap metals. We're gonna need that scrap metal. We'll take that whetstone for sure. We're gonna need that scrap metal to make arrowheads. I didn't bring a pry bar with me, mostly for weight's sake. So hopefully we can find one for the Mystery Lake region. But luckily these lockers are not locked. So we can just open them up, open them up, get what's inside and carry on with our day. Our broken metal control backs. 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 I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, these lockers are Decent t-shirt, that's cloth. This locker is gonna be, uh, locked though, of course. Alright. I think that completes upper dam. We're too fatigued to run. I think there's a guy that's in the dam too that usually has a couple broken arrows on him, so that'll give us a couple more arrowheads. Or at least one broken arrow. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, look at that, a revolver. We'll take that too. Again, I'm not planning on using the guns, um, but it doesn't help to stockpile things in other locations, you know? Have a rifle and a revolver and stuff and everything uh, in like different locations with some ammo and whatever. Like, that's fine. I do kind of want to do like a, a, in my head, part of me is thinking I want to do like a, make a base in every location kind of playthrough. And I think that'd be a lot of fun. Start in one area of the map, work my way to another area of the map, and I just... Base. I have to make a base that can last me X amount of days in every location. Kind of like Whiteout or Nomad. But uh, I want to come up with my own... We'll take that. Rules, you know? Uh, nine minutes... Yeah, we'll use that. That's fine. Break that down for nine minutes. I don't have any lantern fuel, so I want to be mindful of the lantern fuel that I have on my... ...on my lantern, because if this goes out, we're out of lantern fuel. Break that down, too. I want some extra cloth, because I want to spend some time of the day or night soon just looking and repairing at some of my clothes. 
You know what we could probably do to make this lantern last just a little bit longer too? Is um... Let's actually do that now. Let's swap this out for the torch. I have a torch left on me. Oh, I don't have the flare. I don't love flares. They're just so loud and annoying. But... Uh, we're not gonna break that down. Not with the torch out anyway. Something over here hidden maybe. I know Hinterland likes to hide things, so I'm kind of being a little... It's so crazy the light distance. The light distance between... Oh, this is kind of cool. This is a pathway over. Back to where we came from. The light distance between the torch and the storm lantern. Like, the torch, like, now I feel like I'm, it's like super dark. But that storm lantern is so bright. I'm not picking that up. Don't need that new sprint. We'll search this trash. I'll grab that hook. We might do some fishing or something. At Mystery Lake. Just because we can. That's a banged up peaches, that's fine. Nothing in there. We're not gonna leave the lower dam just yet. I wanna search this area over here first. Ah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. So here's a broken arrow. Marine flare. Antiseptic will grab that storm lantern. Let's touch him. Combat boots are good. This is also leave lower dam. Now I don't remember there being two exits here. And we got another storm lantern, so now I don't care if this torch dies out. I wonder if he's a callback to Fluffy. That guy right there. When there used to be the, um... Oh, there was an arrow right in that door. I should grab that. Here we go. That's another arrowhead for a collection. But yeah, as I was saying, I wonder if he's a callback to Fluffy when, like, there used to be a wolf in here. And he used to come in here and think you're safe and cool and you're inside, and then there's a wolf that just charges you. And I think that's so funny. Alright, we've made it to Car blah, 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 blah. We've made it to Carter Hydro Dam. We're gonna put our bedroll down here. I'm gonna start a fire over here. Um, I'm gonna start a fire over here, get cooking. Um, probably warm up our teas, look at some of our clothes. Get all that stuff. Um, but we are going to call the episode here. I'm going to take care of all that stuff offline. Until next episode, we'll finish looting um, the dam. And we'll finish looting the dam. And we will um, head out into Mystery Lake proper. In where we will probably head our first stop to the trailers across the way. And then to the trailer across the way. And then also to... Um, Camp office. And those are probably gonna be our first our first stops. So the two trailers across the way. I wanna see if there's the moose there. Um You know, see what he's up to. And then uh because I think there's a moose spawn right there. And then we'll head to um Mystery Lake proper and Camp Office, and then maybe from there we'll head to Trappers. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, if you guys like this episode, please hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are looking forward to more of the long, dark content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next episode.